last five years have brought such a huge change to my life. Um, I came from being this little shithead working on his music in his small and poorly soundproofed bedroom to, well, it's basically the same thing now, but some things have changed. Um, now I have more than 20,000 people following my work on Facebook. I have more than 15,000 subscribers here on YouTube. I got various companies supporting me in what I'm doing. I play shows with Destiny Potato occasionally, which also had a really good growth rate in the past four or five years. And it's all so great and pretty overwhelming in a way. Um, but recently I couldn't help but notice more and more people, uh, especially young musicians, commenting how they can't afford this or that piece of equipment or this or that piece of software and how that slows them down or kills their creativity and productivity and yes, it can be tough, especially with the way social media works nowadays with so many companies offering so many good products and with so many musicians who are pushing those products on social media, on Facebook, YouTube, Instagram. That's just the way things work now. And I wanted to address this a few times before as I myself became a part of this in a way. But addressing the problem without offering some kind of a solution or advice is completely pointless. So here's what I did. I spent about a week working on two songs. I wanted to limit myself as much as possible with the gear that I'm using. So before I continue, here's the gear that I used. My main PC was the MacBook Pro, but the setup that I used can be easily run on any older PC, five, six, seven years old, doesn't matter. Um, my main sound card was the Onyx Blackjack by Mackie, which can be found on eBay for around 100 bucks, I think, a little bit more. I used a pair of decent studio headphones, DT770 Pro, and uh, some earbuds from Xiaomi, and some, you know, casual headphones for everyday listening. So. No professional studio monitors were used in this challenge. I also used this $15 microphone that I found on the internet for all the vocals and all the audio samples that I did. And as my main DAW, I used Cubase 8 Elements, which is a pretty washed out version of Cubase Pro. It costs around 100 euros, I think, which is pretty affordable. And of course I used my guitar and a cable and that's pretty much it. So the stock challenge is named the stock challenge because I limited myself on using only the stock plugins from Cubase Elements 8. For drums I used Groovy Agent SC, for synths Prologue and for some other instruments Halion Sonic SE. For guitars I used the VST Amp Rack and I had to mix all of that with stock plugins, which was a challenge by itself. But I won't get into details now, because two days after the songs are released, I will release the video in which I will guide you through all the channels in the projects, show you how I achieved the sounds that I achieved, and I think you guys will find that really, really useful. I also had Vladimir Lalic doing the vocals and we recorded vocals with this $15 cheap microphone, condenser microphone I found on the internet. That's it. Songs will be available on June 19th through Bandcamp as a free download or pay as much as you wish. If you guys decide to pay, all the money from the first amount of sales will go to Charity Water. I'll put the link in the description for you guys to see what are they doing and where your money goes. I think they're doing a really important job. That's why I choose them. To make things more interesting, four people who donate in the first month of sales 
will have a Skype lesson with me on whichever topic they choose. So, bottom line, just make some music, guys. This is the computer I started working on. Even when I got it, when I was six years old, it was about 10 or 15 years old. So, it really doesn't matter. This was my main toy for years and I had so much fun with it. So, guys, just go and have fun making music. Don't get too stressed about gear. Gear will come. Make some music first. Uh, June 19th, download it for free. Um, donate to the charity, whatever you guys feel like doing. More videos are on the way. So let's stay in touch. Subscribe, share. It helps me out a lot to spread the word. Uh, like the video, comment. Tell me what you think about all this. I'll give you a reply and yeah, let's keep in touch. See ya.